is episode one of a new series, our first series ever, and uh, we just hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you in a few minutes, and we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Welcome back, everybody. This is Greg and Rosalind, and we are PCB Bound. We were thinking when we do this van life thing, we're gonna have to eat, right? Sure. Yeah, we're gonna have to eat some food eventually. So we have seen a lot of cool things, but one cool thing we saw was the Instapot, right? A lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people do the Instapot. So we thought, you know what? This would be a good chance for us to get an Instapot and to learn how to cook in the Instapot before we get into the van and then struggle and realize, oh, we better make a run to Taco Bell or McDonald's, God forbid, or, and we wouldn't do that, no. Yeah, we're gonna have to learn how to make all kinds of stuff on the Instapot. Yeah. Arroz con gandule, lechon, you know, all pasteles. Absolutely, <laughs> that's Puerto Rican dishes, by the way. We are gonna do a series. A few. Five, we're gonna give you five go-to easy recipes to do in the instant pot in the instant pot <laughs> so today what we're gonna do today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what are we gonna do today chicken breastesses chicken breastesses okay <laughs> so we got a few chicken breastesses here we got two very large chicken breasts and we filleted them in half because they're pretty thick and what are we gonna do with them first? And we're gonna sear them first, about three to four minutes each side to give them a little color before we put them in the Instant Pot and put the lid on and do like a pressure cooking function, if you will, right? Right. Right. So we're gonna throw two chicken breasts in here first and we're gonna sear them for about three minutes each. We are going to season them with um, a little bit of cilantro. We have some rosemary. We have some garlic. We chopped up some bell pepper, some onion, and we have some potatoes and some carrots. And again, we threw a little bit of pepper and salt on the chicken uh, with a, just a little bit of oil on them here. Throw just a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan so it helps it not to stick to the pan or to the pot, I should say, right? All right, so, all right, so we're gonna flip them over. It's been about three minutes. Well, we're trying to accomplish having one whole entire meal in the Instant Pot. Absolutely. So that it would be less time, quick time. Yeah. yeah. Now, one reason why we chose the Instant Pot for van life is because if we have a rig, a Class B van, and we're doing the whole lithium solar thing, we're boondocking, we don't want to expend any more energy than we have to. It's very, very efficient. It takes very little time to cook since it's essentially, it's essentially a pressure cooker is what it is. Now we made what? We made a pork roast the other day. Typically it takes four hours, about 20 minutes per pound on the Instant Pot versus in the regular oven is four hours, one hour per pound. Okay, so an hour per pound versus 20 minutes in an Instant Pot per pound. So instead of four hours for that pork roast that we cooked, it took what, an hour and? Hour and 20 minutes. The hour and 20 minutes. And it was delicious, by the way. It's highly, highly efficient. And that means less energy on the van. All right, so we got the first two out on the plate. And you can see we've browned them. We use the saute function. And now we're gonna put two more in there. How much water? A cup of water. A cup of water. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna put this little thing that came with the Instant Pot. All right, keep the chicken out of the water. Yep. I'm gonna lay the and then chicken. we're just gonna put the chicken on top. All right. So we're gonna put the cilantro and the rosemary and sort of sprinkle it all on top of the chicken meat. And the rosemary, and there we go. That should be enough. And we'll do the garlic. Sprinkle it all around. And onions all over the place. All right. And the green peppers. All right. All right. What, what else do we have? We have some potatoes and carrots. Potatoes and carrots. We're just gonna throw them in there. We're gonna throw them on here. This is an experiment. We're gonna see if this works or not. And you know what? When you get your Instapot, or if you have one, I'm sure you're experimenting too, but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to experiment. That's what we're doing. 
So we're gonna put that lid on. We're gonna close the lid. We're gonna make sure it's on like ceiling. We're gonna put it on for maybe six minutes. We'll do six minutes and it's on. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna heat up and that water that we put in there is going to begin to boil and as it boils it's going to create steam and what happens is this little pin over here this little tiny pin is going to pop up as soon as it pops up that means everything is sealed and it's going to turn into like essentially it's a pressure cooker and it, that's what's going to speed up the process the fact that it's going to be under a lot of high pressure all that steam it's going to cook that chicken all the way through it's going to cook our vegetables it's going to take all that rosemary and cilantro and garlic and we're hoping we're hoping it's sort of going to infuse everything and we'll find out here very shortly how it turns out all right so here's where the magic happens the steam is seriously like just billowing out of this thing that means that little metal dealy do is about to pop straight upwards sealing all that moisture in this pot and that's when the time starts all right so the little pin popped up and now as you can see no more steam is coming out the top so now the instapot is coming under pressure and as soon as it gets under pressure the timer will start the countdown if you can see it is six minutes the time has started the countdown has started and we are gonna be eating good real soon now just so you know it's gonna cook for six minutes but then we're gonna slow release for six minutes we're not gonna move the little steamy dealy do over so all the steam goes we're gonna let it stay on so when this six minutes runs out we're gonna let it naturally release the steam for six more minutes and then we'll move the little dealy do for anything that's left in there then we're gonna undo the top you think it's gonna work i hope it does i hope it works and hopefully the potatoes on point what do you think maybe well first thing on top is the potato let's check the potato we were worried about the potatoes and if we had cooked them long enough. Are they done? Oh yeah, they're pretty soft. They are done. Yeah. Awesome, six awesome. Six minutes. With the, with the six to, no, no, 10 minutes. 10 well, minutes 10 to minutes work. on the um, so six natural minutes. Receipt. So six minutes of pressurized cooking with a 10 minutes of slow release. Yes. So now we're going to try the chicken. Oh, the oh. chicken's falling off. Be careful, y'all. Be careful, y'all. Don't even need to put a knife through it because it's just... All right. Looks tender. Let's do it. Let's check it anyways. Here we go. Ready? Is it done? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's mm. falling right apart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all good. right. The real test. The real test is taking... All right. I got to get this fork from yeah. you. The real test is taking a little bit of that chicken... Ooh, burn yourself. And oh, mmm, oh, so good. So here it is: the potatoes, the chicken breast, the carrots, the onions, the bell pepper, the rosemary cilantro, a little bit of salt and pepper. And by the way, we also, when we sautéed the chicken in the instapot. We threw a little bit of oil, but when we took the chicken out, we went ahead and dabbed it off with a paper towel, removing all excess oil. We wanted the flavor of the cilantro, garlic, and rosemary to get into the chicken. Hey everybody, well we hope you enjoyed that. Um, I don't know, what did you think? It tasted good. It was our first uh, attempt. Yeah, yeah, it was our first attempt and you know, it's trial and error. And one, one thing, you know, I don't know if you noticed or not, and you probably did, is we, we talked about the slow release, right? We talked about going from like six to seven minutes on the slow release. But in actuality, it went to about 10. I think by the time we were pulling out the chicken, it was at what, 13? Just about, About yeah. 13. So when doing the slow release, I, I found out that 
uh, you really gotta watch what you're doing. Hindsight's 2020, and I think we do this again. We're definitely gonna back that time up for the slow release, maybe two, three minutes because yeah, because you know, the chicken was already <clears throat> seared. Really, we if anything, we left it to do the slow release for 10 minutes or over 10 minutes because of the potatoes. Yeah, she was really worried about the potatoes and but, the carrots. But you know what? We've already learned in the past that vegetables cook extremely fast. It literally only takes a few minutes for vegetables to cook. What you really got to be concerned about is more more so the chicken. But we did fillet the chicken. Um, mm. It wasn't that thick when we put it in there. Again, I don't even think, I'm thinking realistically maybe four or five minutes for pressure cook time. And then maybe another four minutes slow release by the time you get it out of there. I mean, you're looking at like 10, 12 minutes, I think, you know. Yeah. I'm We're real thankful for, for you all that you're all tuning in and joining us in our journey. Um, something like this, our series, we definitely want you all to comment, of course. Um, that's the whole point of this. This is a, an initial get this topic up and running. It's a time for everyone to kind of comment and add in what they've learned. This way we're, we're networking, we're all contributing towards one topic and that way other people can profit as they come along in the future and watch this video. They can go through the comments and then they can sort of discover tips and tricks and we can even add things in the comments too and discuss things with you all and we, we want to learn of course and uh, we want to know what you guys have done so please leave comments and uh, if you haven't seen the first floor of vlogs of our of our new channel here, go back and check out vlog number one, two, three, and four. Even if it says, S I subscribe, hey, we'll take it. Yeah, 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 we definitely want you to subscribe, of course, we wanna keep this friendship going and we do consider you all to be friends. Uh, we're inviting you into our lives. You know, we'll bring a sense of humor to things here and there, of course, you know. My wife always likes to be silly. I try to behave in front of this camera. She behaves, but <laughs> we just get maybe just a little bit more sillier. Mm -hmm. And just we'll a little see bit what more happens. Right. We're holding back just a little bit. Anyways, mm -hmm. thanks for tuning in. Hey, we'll see you next time. And again, we're PCB Bound. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell notification. Yeah. Smash that like button. Yeah. It's a wrap. See Thank you next you time.